friends, I got a, another garage episode. So this one's number 13. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna work on this. Uh, we're gonna bring this gas nipple out and we gotta turn it into a sediment trap. Um, so I've already turned the gas off on the outside. And if not, this will be a really exciting video if I'm wrong. But yeah, I've, I've triple checked it. have to do it's really a difficult spot to work in because you got these nails here sticking out of the wall Gotta go to Home Depot. I'll be back. All right, so I'm back from Home Depot, and I decided, you know, Murphy's Law says if I buy a 10-inch one, it's not long enough, and 12-inch one is too long, and 8 inches wasn't long enough. So, what do you know? A 10-inch will be just fine. Um, where would 12 inches put us? 12 inches would put us a little too far out. So, um, I'm, I'm really confident that's going to stick out past the, the, um, the plywood. So, I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way.
though apparently it's not quite the right size. So we're going to have to do a little trimming. Okay, after a whole bunch of hunting, I found a long enough bit to poke through here. So I'm going to go poke it through from the other side and drill the marker hole. And then I'm going to use probably one of the oldest spade bits that I own to see if I can enlarge the hole. Wish me luck. Yes, it's crowded in here. Yes, I have some stuff for sale already. It'll get better one day. This is a little bit more crowded than I like at the moment, but we'll get through it. And this is a really old bit, so no promises. But, good enough. It'll live this another day. Alright. Again, pipe dope's really the way to do this because you can put a lot of it on and it's semi hardening. Uh, it's just really good stuff. Teflon tape, on the other hand, I don't think it ever works as well. Uh, so I don't know how to use it in ages. That's kind of what I think of it. I'm going to do that from the other side.
Perfect, no, good enough, yes. The home look good enough. Alright, encouragement. Push it through from the other side.
call it malleable iron for a reason. So this is a drip leg. And the difference between a drip leg and a sediment trap is that a drip leg requires the gas to change directions. And a sediment trap just doesn't. Go. I need a wrench now. There we go. All done. That looks like shit in the corner, but it'll be okay. Okay, so after I finish every little tiny project in this workshop, it's time to rearrange crap because, yeah, this is like a Chinese project trap. Um, anyway, I want to see if I can move that stuff over here. I'm feeling froggy. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys watch in time lapse.
Okay, so what am I up to? Yeah, that's what you're probably asking at this point. So what I'm doing is moving the lathe to the other side of the shop. And I'm lifting it with two 2x4s, two a 10,000 pound sling. I think it's 10,000 pounds. It might be six, but whatever. It's lifted this lathe before and it's more than enough. And this beam is rated for 10,000 pounds. Uh, each jack is good for uh, five tons, no, three tons. So I've got 12,000 pounds of lifting capacity. Um, I've lifted this multiple times with this rig. Yeah, it's been sitting outside. That's okay, it was designed to live outside. And it's gonna move over on this wall and all those things are gonna move out of my way. And um, that's gonna clear the center of the workshop for the Jeep to come in at some point when the letter presses go away sooner than later. They're for sale, by the way. 1,500, 1,200. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the show. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on time-lapse. I'm gonna start the move, and I'm gonna pick it up and move it all by myself. And if you're curious about the shop crane, it was explicitly designed to work in this garage and every other home garage with a low clearance door. And um, I've got a build video on it, and you can see it doing its magic in a couple of other videos. So search my playlist, search my videos. And if you're wondering how I'm gonna balance it, this is quite heavy. So I'll simply unlock it and I'll move it in or out based on, uh, you know, what I need to do. Um, I can also move the carriage in or out to affect the balance. And that's, that's probably good for a thousand pounds right there. This is an old American Monarch lathe. It is uh, 1942 vintage. So this is World War II steel. I'm really proud to own it. And it's a shame I don't have it running, but you know, all good things come in time. And if I'd have set it up and been in a hurry, it would be a major pain in the ass to rearrange my shop now that I've seen the light and realize it needs to be in a different spot. So, um, you know, everything works out. You just gotta have faith. And uh, anyway, Hold tight, enjoy the video. Yes, I'm getting a shit ton done this weekend. Okay, so I'm trying really hard not to screw my back up in the process of moving this. Again, it's 5,000 pounds and I'm 220, so, but I'm gonna lower it down. Uh, it's a little rusty, so it comes down pretty fast. Uh, that's not so bad. And what I'm gonna do is reposition the lift. Uh, these wheels aren't real easy to turn when they're loaded this high. So what I've learned is that I can point the wheels when there's no weight. So I can point them where I want it to go. Well, once there's weight, forget it. They're not going to swivel. But again, I built this explicitly to move this machine. I needed, and the fun part was I built it in like two or three days. I think it was about a $300 build in 2019.
So I wanted to go this way. I'm going to go ahead and point the other wheels because we'll basically want to come straight back at this point. Again, it's, it's, it's primitive, but this works. I right, need to get my other toolbox out or it's going to get stuck. Almost stuck now.
I think that's pretty much where I want it. Dream about it. Yeah, that gives me good clearance here. I can squeeze back here. So yeah, that's where I want it. And that, that gives me lots of center off. Good enough. pretty but it does work and that is what matters 